Switching to baseball and due to the weather, there were some scheduled changes to the Keith LeClaire Classic. Michigan was out and North Carolina Greensboro was in. Liberty played three games of the tournament, three close games. Here's a look back at this weekend's action. A stunning way for day one of the Keith LeClaire Classic to end for the Liberty Flames. UNC Greensboro rallies for five runs in the ninth inning against Liberty to come from behind and win 6-5 to five as the Flames go 0-2 on day one of the tournament. Liberty lost game one, 4-1 to one, to St. John's. Bounced back in game two, had a 5-1 to one lead going into the ninth inning. A couple of two-run singles from Nick Salisbury and Nick Paxton earlier in the ball game had staked the Flames to the four-run lead. Ashton Parrott had just thrown a 1 2 3 eighth inning, came back out for the ninth, but then that's when Greensboro mounted the rally that left the Flames stunned after the ball game. The game was decided on a wild pitch with the bases loaded and two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. Two runs scored as the Flames could not find the ball over by the first base dugout, and that was the winner for UNC Greensboro. After the ball game, caught up with a couple of the Flames, and again, the word was just stunned. I think we kind of just went in there thinking that we had it in the bag, and the other team came out and hit the ball pretty well, and uh, I think we just kind of panicked at the end, and that's not something we usually do. Uh, some that panic definitely set in. I just felt like uh, we just already had the game wrapped up, just kind of what the feel was like out there, and you know, they say it's never over till the 27th out is made, and that couldn't be true today. If you're looking for a couple of bright spots here in this one today for the Flames, Nick Salisbury able to get a couple of hits for Liberty after he stung the ball several times earlier this season, had nothing to show for it. Good to see him get rewarded for some good hard swings here tonight. Also, Nick Paxton with the two-run single, and also Victor Cole had a great start that was wiped away, unfortunately, by the UNC Greensboro rally late. Cole tonight, five and a third innings, one earned run on four hits, also had a half dozen strikeouts. Sean Clowers also looking good in relief. So some good individual performances, but the Flames come up shorthanded in the win-loss column. Six to five, UNC Greensboro wins it over Liberty. In Greenville, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce. After that heartbreaking loss on Saturday, the Flames bounced back on Sunday, defeating East Carolina 4-3. An RBI knock from Aaron Struzma in the ninth inning proved to be the difference, pushing the Liberty record to 3-3 three three on the young season. Joining us now to talk more about Liberty Baseball, the head coach himself, Jim Tomey. Coach, thanks for stopping by. Um, pretty, I'm glad to be here. Got in late last night, so yeah. it's something for you to get in. I appreciate yeah. you coming in. Let's talk about early season. I know you've been kind of experimenting, moving some guys around. Mm -hmm. Are you kind of, I guess, how much are you experimenting during this time to try to find roles for people? Well, in college baseball, you don't have much time to get ready, especially when the weather's pretty yeah. bad. So we have a bunch of different lineup combinations that we can use, and we're still trying to find out our pitching and, and who to throw. And we've had some guys that are banged up a little bit and some pitchers that are, have been sick and not feeling great. So... It's been a struggle, but uh, you guys responded yesterday and had a big win against East Carolina. We talk about some of the, the guys maybe people aren't real familiar with. Josh Close, Sammy Tarmina, Victor Cole, some names that are new to Liberty baseball fans. Yeah. How pleased have you been with some of the guys that have been, been stepping into to roles maybe they've never stepped in before in college? Yeah, Victor Cole is a junior college transfer from Tallahassee Community College, really good lefty. His dad pitched in the big leagues. And Sammy Tarmina has been in the program for a couple years, yeah. but he's been hurt. He's had a lot of different injuries, and he's a really good hitter. And then uh, Josh Close is Alex's little brother, yeah, and, yeah. and he's making a name for himself. He's a pretty good player as well. So we've had some help, and uh, some new guys have been uh, doing pretty well for us. Now, you guys are supposed to come home this weekend, four-game series with Bryant. We'll see if, what the weather does and if we get that in. What are you most looking forward to seeing from your team now? You've, you've been on the road, coming home. What do you want to see out of your team this weekend? Well, I'd like to see about 60 degrees. <laughs> oh, yeah, good luck with that. Um, but we played a little bit better yesterday. Yeah. We've had some guys hurt, some guys sick, and uh, we've got to get Ashton Parrott straightened out on the mound. He's an All-American and got drafted last year, and he was sick for about 10 days. Yeah. And we're trying to pitch him, and he's a competitor, and he wants to pitch. We're not going to play him for a while right now. We're going to try to get him healthy again in the weight room. And we're, we're working with him on his diet and gaining that weight back that he lost. Once we can get him back to where he yeah. could be, I think we can be pretty good. But we just want to you know, play the fundamentals a little bit better. We're starting to hit a little bit better, play defense, pitch. We've had some young guys step up on the mound. Um, so we just got to play baseball and figure out 
We have so many hitters and there's a lot of different combinations we can use. And now that Ashton is just going to be a pitcher for now. Yeah. Um, we have some other guys that will get in there, like Aaron Struzma had a big hit uh, yeah. yesterday yeah. to win the game for us. And he hasn't played a whole lot, and he got in there because we're going to try to get Ashton straightened out on the mound. So a lot of guys will have opportunities, and uh, we're just hoping that the weather gets a little bit better sure. so we can play this weekend. Well, Coach, hopefully you get those games in this weekend. Good luck, and good luck the rest of the way. I'm sure Thanks we'll talk so to much. you a lot. Appreciate it. Clement?